How high can dreams soar? W. Hen vision piercing the clouds becomes blueprints drafting the heavens. What monumental feats can humanity achieve? Today, on the shores of the Red Sea, a new Tower of Babel is rising that will soon brush the very ceiling of our world. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is constructing the awe-inspiring Jeddah Tower, soon to be the tallest skyscraper ever built at over 1,000 meters. But will this modern marvel erected by a nation seeking to transform itself become a unifying beacon of progress or a monument to vanity? Will its glittering pinnacle inspire all who gaze upon it or cast the shadows of hubris? Does this defiant structure reaching for the skies represent mankind's limitless potential or unmatched folly? How will the Jeddah Tower's ascent into the record books shift the balance of power both in the Middle East and across our globalized world? And if this first attempt at breaching the firmament succeeds, what even taller towers tomorrow will rise from today's dreams to pierce the very heavens? When vision becomes reality, the impossible within reach, does humanity dare not grasp it? The architects of Saudi Arabia have taken this dare with the Jeddah Tower, soon to be the tallest structure ever built. But ascension comes with consequence, and the greater the height achieved, the greater the impact across all when something so audaciously towering takes root upon the earth. The Jeddah Tower's construction has begun, but its true height still lies in the realm of aspirations. There are many questions left unresolved beneath the promise of its majestic pinnacle. Will this modern Tower of Babel live up to the kingdom's soaring vision or crumble under the weight of hubris? All that remains certain is that once complete, the world will watch in awe. Sometimes, architecture is more than just brick and mortar. It can represent the soaring aspirations of a nation, a symbolic projection of values and identity. The pyramids of Giza, the towering cathedrals of Europe, the skyscrapers of New York, these buildings become embedded into our collective consciousness, shaping how the world perceives a civilization. The Jeddah Tower is no different. It is a decisive stake planted into the ground by Saudi Arabia, a declaration of their arrival as an economic powerhouse. After decades of relying on oil wealth, the kingdom is eager to diversify by investing at home and abroad. The tower signifies their level of ambition and self-confidence. The ambitions behind the Jeddah Tower extend far beyond just creating an iconic landmark for Saudi Arabia. The planners and architects deliberately set out to construct a building that would surpass all existing skyscrapers to become the undisputed tallest in the world. At a planned height of over 3,080 feet 1, meters, the Jeddah Tower will be over 600 feet taller than the current record holder, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, which stands at 2,117 feet 828 meters. This is no small feat. The Jeddah Tower represents an unprecedented leap upwards that will thoroughly eclipse all other super-tall skyscrapers. To achieve such record-shattering heights goes against all conventional wisdom and standard engineering practices. It is essentially constructing in uncharted territory, with no precedents or examples to follow. Challenges and complexities arise at this scale that builders have never faced before. For example, the immense height makes the tower vulnerable to greater wind shear forces, the drag forces exerted by wind blowing against its elongated elevation. The elevators also have to travel unprecedented distances vertically to reach the highest occupied floors. And pouring concrete strong and deep enough to support the immense weight of the structure requires incredibly robust foundations. Yet, conquering these engineering challenges will pave the way for future urban development to continue growing upwards without being constrained by past limits. Success of the Jeddah Tower proves that humanity's ingenuity and ambition can overcome any barriers. Its construction techniques and innovations will inspire even taller towers in the future. Such a pioneering endeavor does not come cheaply either. With costs projected to be over $1.5 billion, the Jeddah Tower is certainly a display of financial muscle by the oil-rich kingdom. Some may question the priorities of a developing nation spending such vast sums on what is essentially a vanity project. Yet one cannot deny the trickle-down benefits that ripple through the local economy from the thousands of jobs created and technologies invented. Everything about the tower spurs innovation, human capital, and reputational clout. Now you may be wondering, why build it in Jeddah rather than the capital Riyadh? What is so significant about this coastal city on the Red Sea? For centuries, Jeddah has served as the historic gateway to the holy cities of Mecca and Medina. 
For millions of Muslim pilgrims, it is the undisputed economic capital of the kingdom. The tower will only consolidate Jeddah's preeminence while transforming its beachfront into an attractive destination. Most importantly, it leapfrogs rivals and puts Saudi Arabia squarely on the world stage. Yet these ambitious firsts do not come without unique challenges. The biggest, time. An immense project of this scale, where no template or precedent exists, is extremely tricky to forecast. Hence, the initial five-year time frame has already suffered delays with completion pushed to 2030. The immense financial stress this places on developers cannot be discounted either. However, all parties involved remain committed to seeing their sky-high aspirations through. After all, creating the building of the future does necessitate inventing many aspects of engineering from scratch. Wind tunnel tests reveal the tower's smooth, sloped exterior will induce less structural swaying than expected. The core structural supports had to be reinvented too. Normally, super-tall skyscrapers have a large central core containing elevators and utilities, but the Jetta Tower disperses these vertical elements into multiple modular pods around the building's edges, opening up interior space. Such trailblazing designs require testing uncharted waters. Equally complex is installing elevators capable of reaching the highest livable floors in the world. Multi-tiered elevator bays will allow express and local cars to minimize travel times throughout. And silencing elevator cabins against wind noise under extreme pressure differentials hundreds of meters up is yet another conundrum. No blueprint to follow means preparing for the unexpected. While building to such record-breaking heights presents tremendous engineering challenges, the advancements of modern technology also give the Jetta Tower advantages over previous generations of skyscrapers. With today's sophisticated computer modeling software, engineers can simulate and analyze the tower's structural response to various forces with extremely precise accuracy down to the micron level. Programs can model minute details like how seismic vibrations from earthquakes will resonate through the building, or how sun exposure leads to subtle thermal expansions and contractions. Gravity load distributions and weight displacements can also be calculated with pinpoint precision. In contrast, engineers in the past had to rely on manual calculations or crude approximations to determine these factors. The computing power and software simulations available today enable a level of design refinement and structural optimizations simply not possible before. Additionally, the development of modern high-performance concrete mixtures provides structural strength unachievable decades ago. The enhanced durability and resilience of concretes like ultra-high performance concrete will enable the tower to stand firm against forces that would compromise weaker materials. However, realizing such visionary heights does impact life at street level today, literally. The tower's deep foundations require digging far below grade, affecting the water table that could destabilize surrounding buildings. To avoid undermining neighborhood infrastructures, an underground concrete raft was constructed, first to transmit loads safely. Additionally, the Jeddah Tower had to be sighted a respectful distance away from both the airport and the sacred Al-Rama Cemetery during planning. Even with the purest engineering intentions, a mega-project of this scale causes ripples. But transformational achievements aren't created from comfort or complacency. And make no mistake, Jetta Tower represents a transformational milestone of human achievement. Construction currently stands around the 268-meter mark, with over 1,000 meters left to go. There is still a long and winding road ahead. And yet, I can't help but feel our collective future seems a little brighter knowing such vision exists in this world. Not everything that reaches for the stars succeeds, but nothing great was ever achieved without first gazing upwards. The Jeddah Tower proves man's potential is as limitless as the sky itself, if only we aspire high enough.